Um, my name is Owen, I'm a game developer and designer and I'm showing my game Deep here at uh, Rezzed. Deep is a, a VR game that's controlled by diaphragmatic breathing. So you control this game by slowly breathing in and out in the way that you might do in a yoga class or in a meditation session. And by m breathing in and out slowly, that's how you move through the world. So the first thing that we do is we link the player's uh, vision with the player's breath. And that just brings them a very deep awareness of their breathing and quickly they start to sink into a quite a relaxed state. This game has been built from the ground up for VR. There's never been any other version of it. Um, I was one of the original backers of the Oculus and the day it arrived is the day I started making this game. Um, it's completely integral to it that you are actually within the space and uh, very much a part of the space that you're moving through. Absolutely, yeah. I've been thinking about this game for years and um, I've had problems with anxiety for you know most of my life and I've used breathing techniques to, to manage that condition, if not alleviate it. Um, so I really wanted to make something that was very much around that and I wanted to, with the ore, build a space that was a nice place to go at the end of the day, particularly at the end of a stressful day that you could kind of just sink into for a little while and just enjoy being there. Um, so it was a natural kind of coming together of those two ideas and that was the start of this project. I'm working with an incredible Dutch artist called Nikki Smit and um, we were talking about this and neither of us is interested in recreating photorealistic experiences. We already live in a photorealistic world so we don't need any more photorealistic experiences. I'm interested in creating worlds that you can't actually go to right now. Um, so maybe it's about going to the past or maybe it's about going to space but in this case it's about going to a weird low poly sci-fi world. So I've built a controller um, that uh, goes around the player's diaphragm and measures the expansion of the diaphragm. So it basically, it, that's all the only way of controlling it. It's by looking and breathing. But uh, there is a big design problem with the game at the moment in that if you already know how to do the style of breathing that we're going for here, you can kind of get into it quite quickly and in, start enjoying it almost straight away. Uh, but if you haven't done diaphragmatic breathing or yoga before or anything like that, it can be a little bit stressful. So the next thing we're building is a training mode and that's going to actually teach you in a kind of step-by-step -step way how to do this type, type of breathing so you'll be ready for the, uh, the, um, the larger experience after. I mean I view VR not as necessarily an extension of video games or something that's going to bolt onto that but a whole new platform of entertainment separate from games and movies and theatre and novels, uh, its own pillar, its own thing and I'm really excited to experience all the bizarre experiences that are going to come out there. And I'm sure it is going to be used in games very, very effectively. And I'm going to play and love those games. But the things I'm most excited about are just more of the more of the experiences, more the kind of things that are more akin to going to the zoo or going to an aquarium than they are to you know shooting aliens in the face. I mean, this has been a side project for you know a long time now, but there's been this recent burst of interest in this project, which has taken me by surprise and delight. Um, so yeah, I am starting to think about this things of, ooh, maybe I should see if we can get this ready for launch. It would be brilliant to launch with the, with the Oculus. The thing I love about the Oculus so far is just how open it is, how anybody can kind of, you know, if you've got a couple of hundred bucks, you can buy the kit, plug it into your computer, and away you go. If Valve follow the same, uh, follow the same ideals, I'd absolutely love to get it working on that. In terms of picking a lead platform, we're just going to have to see, like, who, which one makes sense. Uh, I make all sorts of different games, so as a game designer, I'm working on uh, I'm working on a roguelike called Frank and John. I'm working on a card game called The Boo Crew. And I work at weird party games. Uh, the latest one is Buttball. Um, so I, I make lots of different kinds of stuff, but increasingly the things that I'm interested in is making weird VR experiences.